What's happening everyone? This is DJ Rufo from Rufo Productions. As per request from some of my subscribers, in this video I will demonstrate on how to build your very own talk box. In the first part of this video, I will show you all the eight parts that you will need and I will put all the eight parts in the links down in the description as well. And in the second part of this video, I will show you how to set it all up and I will show you how it sounds as well. So I hope this tutorial will help those who are confused about the whole process as I was and help those who are looking for a better sound and talk box. If you find this video helpful, spread some love by hitting that like button. And if you're considering subscribing, I thank you in advance. Thank you. Again, this is DJ Rufo. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a compression driver. This one right here is a five core, 100 watt compression driver. It's all you're gonna need to get that great sounding talk box. Second thing you're gonna need is a amplifier. This one right here is a hi-fi stereo digital amplifier by Lapai. It's only 20 watts. It's all you're gonna need. Yes, 20 watts, all you're gonna need. I bought a 100 watt, it didn't give me no power or volume, no difference whatsoever between the two. So I returned a 100 watt amplifier and I just kept this one. So this is all you need. So the third thing you're gonna need is an AC adapter. This one's just 24 volts at 108 watts. And this is all you need to power up your amplifier. These are non-polarized base blockers. What they do is block the base or low frequencies that you don't need when you're playing the talk box. Because trust me, you don't want to feel those low ends when you're playing the talk box because you will feel it in your chest. Because uh, the compression driver itself is very, pretty powerful. And also if you don't use these, with your compression driver, your compression driver will blow. So you don't want that. These are 14 gauge. Obviously I bought the 100, 100 feet. You can buy something smaller, but these are just basic 14 gauge speaker wires. This right here, this adapter, this is what goes into the compression driver. Just screw it right in. This one's pretty expensive. I got it from Talkstar. But I had other adapters and I, I don't know, for some reason this one, it claims that it's anti-vortex. It improves the sound. And from what I noticed, it really actually does. So, you know, I went on a whim and I bought it and I tried it out and I, I, I heard the difference, so I kept it. All right, so the seventh thing you're gonna need is vinyl tubing. You can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, or any type of hardware shop. Or you can even get it online. I know Talkstar has a tube set for, I think, $19.50, or round it up to 20. You can get that, because it actually fits the, uh, if it goes with this tube adapter. So if you want to get that, you can get it off off uh, Talkstar, but this one right here that I got is a three eighths of an inch inner diameter and a half inch outer diameter. And you're also gonna need a half inch inner diameter to go into the three by, uh, three by eights diameter. Because uh, if you just use a three by eights diameter, it will not, it will go in, but it will be very, very loose and you don't want that. So I believe it's a half inch that you want to get to go into the three by eights. All right, so the last thing you're gonna need, the eighth thing you're gonna need is TRS to RCA cables. This is by Hosea. And they're, you know, the basic RCA cables and that's all you're gonna really need. All right, so now that you got all your parts, let's set this bad boy up. So 
but let's take the compression driver and the speaker wires. And you wanna take your capacitors. I also forgot to mention that when you buy these capacitors, they're gonna be uh, separate. So they're gonna come in a pack and you want to solder them together or just twist them together, whatever you want. And then you're gonna stick either whatever side you want. You can take a speaker wire, just gonna, what I do is I put it right in there. I just stick it right into the plastic so it can be snugged in there, it doesn't really move. And then I take the copper wire and I just twist it up just like that. That's all, you, that's all you're gonna do, just twist it up. Boom. Then you're gonna take the other end and then you're gonna put the other end of the capacitor in the positive side, which is red. So when you get this compression driver, it's gonna be red, black. And you're gonna stick that right in there. And then you're gonna tighten it up. Once it's tightened up, you're gonna take the black part. And you're gonna put the black right in the, right in the negative side. Tighten that one up, and boom, you got that. Now you're gonna take the other end of the speaker wires. Just make sure you make sure you get the copper threads out. You can use wire cutters or scissors, but when you use scissors, just be careful you don't cut the copper wires as well. You just want to cut the uh, the actual plastic piece. Now you're gonna take your amplifier and then you're gonna put the red with red on the right channel. So on the right channel, you're gonna put the red with red. And then instead of putting the black with black on the right channel, you're gonna put the black with black on the left channel. So you got black, Got the black wire on the left channel, just like that. And you can take your tube adapter, screw that right in there. Once it's snugged in, you can take your AC adapter You just want to plug that in the DC input. So now you got power. Just make sure you power uh, plug it into an outlet. Make just make sure you got power. Blue light turns on when you got power. And also, when you get this amplifier, you're gonna see uh, the tone and direct. You want to make sure it's on direct. So the direct is gonna be out and the tone is gonna to be in. It's just a button that you press. Just So that's tone, which is in, and then direct, which is out. So you want direct, because it gets the direct sound from the compression driver. I tried the tone, didn't really sound great. So you wanna use direct. You can take your RCA cables. Take this end, you're gonna take your amplifier, gonna put that in a red audio input, and you're gonna put the white in a audio, uh, white in the audio input. That's so that's so the sound can go out into the synthesizer. And once you get your vinyl tubing, you just 
want to put that in there where it's snug and the reason like i said the reason why it's snug is because i i got that other piece to fit in to the three eighths because if you just use just the three eighths uh inner inner uh diameter it's not gonna it's gonna fit but it's gonna be loose and sound is gonna escape so you want to get something which is, should be half inch just cut it you don't need too much just enough where you can put it in a three eighths and also in the into the tube adapter and then you got a snug fit boom and then you're gonna take the rca cable which is the trs side you're gonna put that in your output of your synthesizer so now let me turn this on should have sound yep got sound got your highs your mids and you got your lows so let's play with it a bit so you can see how it sounds Ooh, baby you know it sounds good do you hear do you hear that low in it yeah baby 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 so obviously I'm just messing around there. But now, now that you got your setup going, I hope this tutorial helps everyone that's looking for a better sound in TalkBox. Obviously it sounds way better than a Rocktron or a MXR, pretty much your brand name, TalkBox. Uh, it's pretty much rounds up, every piece that you're gonna get rounds off to like 200 the most. And once you got that going, man, you'll have a great sound of TalkBox. And I hope this tutorial helps everyone that's looking for something that sounds way better. So here you go. Hope you have fun and make sure you practice and get better on the talk box. Peace.